Today's video is about how to slow down, brake and stop on uh, inline speed skate. It's uh, number one fear for most of the skaters so, and I had quite some questions about it in the different uh, vlogs so far. So today I will give you a video uh, telling you tips about how to slow down, how to brake and how to stop on the inline speed skate. So there is two forces that make us uh, slow down, is the ground friction and the air resistance. So the first things to do uh, to break your speed and slow down is to uh, make you less aerodynamic. So it's good to just stand up and push a little bit uh, the skater in front of you so far. But the idea is to be as less aerodynamic as possible to lose some speed. When you are in a pack and uh, you just want to lose a little bit speed, just uh, stand up like most of the skaters do in front of you. And if still uh, you want to lose more speed, then you have to go out of the pack and so you get more air resistance and you will lose uh, more speed. The second uh, technique to slow down is to just make uh, the distance uh, between the two points a little longer. So you have to snake uh, a little bit on the road, make some little turn uh, left to right. So After that you already uh, slow down a little bit your speed, if you really need to lose even more speed, you have to start uh, to brake. So we have a few different techniques uh, to brake. Uh, the first uh, braking uh, technique would be the alternate uh, plow stop technique. Uh, you have to uh, put your leg about the distance of your shoulders and uh, bring them to the inside and uh, alternate uh, every step so it will make uh, your speed uh, slow down. It's a quite slow technique to brake, but uh, it's good to, uh, to reduce the speed. Uh, so with this technique, you have to try to uh, keep your body weight uh, in the middle, in between your legs, and uh, push, like pushing to the front uh, from one leg to another. Alternate uh, plus stop technique is uh, it's more like a beginner technique. Uh, if you want to decrease even more your speed, you can go to the second uh, braking technique. It's like a T-stop. For the T-stop uh, braking technique, you have to open, open uh, one of your skates and create friction uh, with your wheels uh, on the ground. And uh, so your wheels won't uh, really like it, but uh, it's quite effective technique. Uh, the more pressure you put on your wheels, uh, the more you will break. And uh, you have to make sure you're strong with your abs and that uh, your skate uh, don't, uh, don't turn and go too far behind, otherwise it's a little risk to twist on yourself. 
but uh, it's a it's a good way uh, to lose the speed uh, in a race in a race situation. It will not stop you uh, directly, but uh, remember the idea for speed skater is first uh, reduce the speed, then uh, decrease more uh, significantly the speed by a braking technique like the alternate plus stop or the T stop technique. And uh, later we will see how to directly stop uh, like emergency situation. For more uh, expert uh, skater, the next uh, plan is uh, in an emergency situation is the hockey stop technique. It's uh, it's like a parallel stop. Uh, you keep your skate parallel and you d really have to stop uh, direct. So it's an emergency situation. Uh, it's not the first reflex uh, in a race. So most of the time in a race, the reflex of the skater will be to jump on the side or jump over an obstacle. But uh, if really you need to um, to stop, uh, it's the the hockey stop technique is uh, the most efficient. But it's also an expert technique that uh, not everybody can use. In the last part, when you choose a. Uh, when we say hockey stop, you can keep, keep your skate parallel, but it can also be a power slide stop. It's up to you, the one you prefer. Slide stop, like uh, I did in the example, uh, is more safe in terms of uh, balance. It's easier to keep uh, the balance. Uh, but if you master the hockey stop with a parallel, parallel braking, uh, it's also working very good. Remember the main idea for speed skater who want to stop. First, you need to slow down your speed. Second, you need to really be in a braking situation. Then you already decrease a lot your speed, and uh, from this you can uh, much more easily having a very uh, stopping, a very good uh, stopping technique uh, from this point. To mainly have to do this uh, trade technique in the order. Uh, we don't really try to do a hockey stop straight. Uh, we first try to reduce the speed to be able to get a situation when we can uh, manage all the braking technique or the stopping technique.